All right, so you have just recently bought a telescope and you're trying to understand how to use it, how to work with an equatorial mount. You've come to the right place. Welcome to Lim and Smart Guys. My name is Vishal and today we'll be looking at how to use the telescope. And by hopefully now you have set it up in this looking form. So we'll be looking at it from two perspectives. Number one, what are the moving parts of the telescope which you need to understand before you actually go out and start observing? And number two, how to set it up the right way so that you have the most pleasure observing the night sky. All right, so let's start by looking at the moving points of the telescope. There are four points which you need to understand and they're really important. Number one is the azimuth axis, or in plain English, we can call it the right or left axis. So this one sits at the very right base and it can be loosened or tightened using this screw right here. So I'll lo loosen it up a little bit and then we can move it towards right or left. So you usually do it to point it towards north or south pole, whatever you're trying to observe. All right, number two is the latitude axis. This is the one which you use to polar line the telescope based upon your location. So let's say whatever suburb you're in, you would Google its latitude for that particular suburb and you would uh, make the latitude of your telescope exactly aligned with that. Number three is the right ascension here, moves this way at the third point. And number fourth is the declination. If they don't move too easily, it's because the knobs are really tight here. You can loosen it up or tighten it up so that it just, you know, just doesn't go everywhere. And if you further need to understand what is right ascension and declination, I recommend you check out my other video, which I will link down in the description below. All right, so now that we understand what are the four moving parts of the telescope, Let's jump on to the point number two, which are how to balance the telescope and how to align the finder scope, which in my opinion is the most important part of understanding the telescope. Balancing from the counterweight. So what we need to do is we need to loosen the wall here slightly and wherever we leave the telescope, it should stay there to make sure that this is well balanced. And you can see we're just only moving the right ascension coordinate here. So at the moment, it's, it's terribly balanced. So what I'm gonna do is I'll loosen it up from here and make sure the security screw is here so that you don't accidentally drop the weight on your foot. So I will kind of move it slightly so that it seems balanced. So as you can see, after adjusting the counterweight, RA is just not moving. So wherever I just leave it, it just stays there. I check it on the other side to just to make sure the weights are all good. All right, so once that's done, we need to balance the scope, which is the declination coordinate. I usually like to put the RA on this angle, like a flat angle, and I'm gonna tighten the screw for RA, and I will lose the screw for declination here. So you need to make sure the scope kind of stays in the middle. As you can see, it's kind of leaning here, so we need to move the telescope a little bit back. So I will loosen the uh, screw on these clamps here and we'll just move it slightly back. And we're done. All right, now let's talk about the notorious finder scope. And this, in my opinion, is arguably the most important aspect. I mean, you can get everything right in setting up the telescope and uh, you've not aligned this perfectly or it's a little bit off or you just knocked it while you were trying to observe through it. Uh, you would not be able to see anything through your eyepiece because on high resolutions, it's just really, really difficult to find a, a planet or a star. So what is finder scope, first of all? So this is like a very low magnification, small scope, which sits on your main scope. And this, if you see through this, there will be like a cross section in it. What you need to do during the daytime, ideally, is take the telescope out and look through the finder scope and look through your eyepiece and make sure that the cross section in your finder scope shows exactly in the eyepiece. Let's say you can see one thing in the eyepiece but you can't see that in, in the finer scope. What you would need to do is you would need to adjust these little screws, align it to that particular object which you're trying to see through uh, eyepiece, 
And once that's done, just make sure that this is firmly stable because when I was starting off, there were times when this was kind of loosely there and I waited all day and it was night time. I was trying to observe it. And while I was trying to look through it, it just got knocked off and it just leads to frustration and nothing else. So I hope this information puts you in a way better position than most people who are starting in amateur astronomy, especially who are actually very beginners with the telescope. Uh, if you want to find out more about polar alignment, I recommend you check out my other videos. And while you're on that way, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on that video. Would you like to see more of this content? Give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. We good?